Couple things before you continue watching. One, the beginning was somehow sped up somehow. I don't know how. And then two, again, huge shout out as always to Ada Anna over on the Arcs Fleet Discord for providing the footage that we use today. All right, the beginning of the video starts now. Hey, what's going on guys, KWG here. So a lot of you guys have had the question on whether or not it's even worth a fixing before New Genesis, or even if it's even worth making Guardian Soul. And in this video, we're gonna be going over that. But if you guys wanna do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. But anyway, let's get into the video. As many of you might already know, New Genesis is on the horizon, and at the time of recording this video, we do not have a release date. But the conversation that everybody's been having is whether or not it's worth a fixing prior to New Genesis. My personal answer to you is, if you're going to be someone who's only going to be playing New Genesis, then the answer is no, not really, you don't have to stress too much about it. However, keep in mind that the content in PSO2 will still be able to thrive, and there may be events that then call back into PSO2 where you might be able to get items that then transfer into New Genesis. So at least having some basic affixes is something to keep in mind. Also, all of the items that you then make in Fantasy Star Online 2 at the time of release will then transfer over into Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis as well. So all of those eight slot weapons or all of those eight slot units that you're currently working on will still have a use, at least at the very beginning of progression in Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. So the highest amount of rarity that'll be available in Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is at least four stars. So if those of you guys are gonna be transferring over your Liberates, your Life Streams, your Atlas EX, and even your Crass and Air weapons, you're still gonna have them useful when it comes to their progression when it's in New Genesis. Now, eventually they are going to be phased out because stronger weapons will then exist as rarity also increases, as well as the ability to then augment new weapons. But being able to kickstart your gameplay when it comes to Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is definitely a advantage all in itself. Now, I'm going to be using the Japanese wiki to be able to then cross-reference a lot of the information that I currently have. So anything that's currently available at the time of making this video is still something to change when full release happens. Now, I've covered this a couple of times before, but first, let's start off with what is Guardian Soul. Guardian Soul is a augment that you can put on every unit and weapon. And the reason why this has come up in conversation more in particular over any other augment is because of the level in which you need to be able to make this. Guardian Soul requires a lot of effort in order to make. So first things first, you're going to need to be able to make four other augments that each respectively have their incredibly low chance of making in the first place in order to then make Guardian Soul. Those augments are Astral Soul, Ether Factor, Mana Reverie, and Absolute Glare. And then in order to make those, we'll use Astral Soul, for example, you're going to need then other augments to be able to make those as well. You're going to need four Soul Catalysts and then one Darkness Soul to make Astral Soul. Now, before I continue, I do want to preface this by saying things like Astral Soul, Aether Factor, and Mana Reverie are available in their capsule form when it comes to the Mission Bad Shop. The only thing you're actually going to need to craft is Absolute Glare. However, because you are limited in the amount of Mission Badges that you do get per month, they cost about 120 per capsule. So knowing the recipe is another good reason as to why you can't really rely on just the capsules alone. But anyway, going back to things. For Ether Factor, you're then going to need four Factor Catalysts and then an Ether Soul. For Mana Reverie, you're going to need four Reverie Catalysts and then an Omega Memoria. And then for Absolute Glare, you're going to need four Glare Catalysts and then a Photoner's Glare. Now, each of these for the Glares, the Omega Memoria, the Ether Soul, and then the Soul Catalyst, they each have their own recipes to be able to make those. So it is a very long and daunting process. And for the average player, they don't necessarily want to be able to go through all of the trouble to be able to make these because, again, this is a low chance to be able to make in the first place. Just to use Glare Catalyst as the example, in order to make Glare Catalyst, you then need an Anger Glare or Dominus Glare you need a Velug Glare, you need a Folgers Glare, and then you need an Exocore Glare. And then when you combine all four of those, you get the chance to make Glare Catalyst. But then again, being able to make that is also a 10% chance. So there's a lot of effort in order to be able to make Guardian Soul. But now whether or not this is going to be worth making when it comes to New Genesis is a completely easier answer. The answer is no. Am I still going to make Guardian Soul? Absolutely. But for the average player, there's literally no reason to be able to do so. And the reason being is because what that then converts to when it comes to New Genesis is not all that much. So what Guardian Soul converts to when it comes to New Genesis is 30 HP, 2 PP, 1% power, 1% minimum damage limit increase, and then also 1% damage resistance. So when it comes to thinking about that, that's actually not that much for what you're going to be getting in New Genesis. But again, keep in mind that even though you will no longer be using the weapon in the future when it comes to New Genesis, anything that you currently have in Fantasy Star Online 2 will still persist. 
But anyway, just going back to what you saw with the Guardian Soul, that amount of power that you get really isn't actually all that much, considering the fact that there are other augments and other things that then give you that much more when it comes to New Genesis. So if you were one of those players who was currently on the fence on whether or not you should even be making Guardian Soul, you don't really have to worry about it. Do it at your own pace. If it's something that you want to do, then that's totally okay. Otherwise, if you don't want to make it, then that's totally fine as well. Me personally, I really like Fantasy Star, so there's really no reason why I'm not. Plus, it just gives me something to do anyway, especially considering the fact that Guardian Soul in Fantasy Star Online 2 is really strong. The only time it's really not strong is in New Genesis. But now that comes into the question is, is it even worth fixing as a whole? And the question is, yes, whether it be Fantasy Star Online 2 or even Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, fixing is definitely something that you should at least invest a little bit of time to be able to learn. One of the things that I'm going to be doing in the future for you guys is I'm going to be going over a fixing as it stands now, because what I want to do is then also give you guys even more information on how a fixing is going to work in New Genesis. Plus, with the augment transfer system, it makes the fixing a little bit easier to manage, especially with capsules. There's just a couple things that I feel like you need to go over. One of my buddies already made a video on it with how to make Guardian Soul, but I'm going to be going over into the entire process on how I make all of my eight slot units when Shiva or the floor 30 to 35 floor of uh, Divide Quests is finally released. But yeah, is it worth making Guardian Soul with New Genesis in mind? The answer is no. But is it worth making Guardian Soul when it comes to being in mind of PSO2 on its own? The answer is absolutely yes. But if you guys want to go ahead and deal with just fashion purposes only, that's perfectly fine as well. I'm just giving you guys some different, you know, opinions on things. But anyway, guys, as always, thank you guys again for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. So stay awesome. Stay beautiful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm out.